Hi friends, recovery post a COVID infection can be extremely demanding and hence there is a need to work on our nourishment, to build back on our immunity, to enhance our energy levels and to also build our stamina. Providing good amount of calories through healthy carbohydrates such as brown rice, millets, oats, etc. can be useful. We can also provide good amount of calories through uh, root vegetables such as uh, tapioca, sweet potatoes and potatoes. Healthy fats in the form of nuts and seeds and cold pressed oils and ghee can also be beneficial and can provide more calories for a smaller quantity. Undoubtedly, a protein-rich diet plays a huge role in building back our immunity and also to keep our muscles healthy. So good sources of protein such as dals, lentils, pulses, milk products like paneer, curd, uh, milk can also be provided. You can add good amount of nuts and seeds again because they are also very good sources of protein. If you are a non-vegetarian eater, you could include foods like eggs, chicken and fish at least about 3-4 to four times a week. A good combination of carbohydrate and protein such as dal khichdis or broken wheat or brown rice khichdis, oats pungal, multigrain or oats chilas or multigrain dosas or ragi porridge or multigrain porridges, all of, this, uh, all of these options can be a simple meal option. We need to make sure that we have cooked it soft so that they can be digested easily. For the micronutrient requirement, it is important that we are loading up on fruits and vegetables. At least about 2 cups of fruits and 3 to 4 cups of cooked vegetables can, uh, can provide us the required micronutrients. So opt for all kinds of seasonal fruits and vegetables and bring in a lot of variety. The next factor we need to consider is hydration. Hydration is the key for uh, recovery and hence it's important to provide sufficient amount of fluids through tender coconut water, buttermilk, fresh fruit juices, herbal teas and concoctions and the most easiest way is to just drink at least about 1-2 to two liters of hot water or warm water so that we can recover fast. It would be unfair if I miss mentioning the importance of probiotics. In this constant war between microorganisms, it is important that we are providing the healthy gut friendly micro uh, organisms so that they can keep us protected especially after treatment we may have lost a good amount of uh, healthy bacteria from our stomach and hence it's important for us to replenish them so good amount of microbio uh, microbiome or uh, probiotic rich foods such as uh, curd buttermilk fermented foods and other foods like kefir sauerkraut also can be included and prebiotics such as fruits and vegetables also enhance the growth of probiotic bacteria and hence should be incorporated in plenty Beyond this, adding all kinds of antioxidant-rich foods such as turmeric, ginger, tulsi, um, honey, lemon, cinnamon, all of this can also boost our immunity but make sure you're using in moderation. Even if it is tempting, it's important to stay away from junk, processed and sugary foods because these can delay recovery by suppressing your immunity and can also make you prone to more infections. I hope this information was useful and helps you to recover quickly. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you again with another topic sometime soon. Until then, stay home, stay safe.